I'm going to be pricing a pathway using loose stones. This module gives me the option to select timber or concrete edging. I will show you how easy it is to choose your preferred option during this movie. To start my pricing, I need to enter the requested information into the red cells. The length of my path is 15 linear metres. The width is 0.8. The program has automatically used these numbers to calculate the length of my edging as 30 linear metres. If for any reason this was different on your pathway, you can change it by typing the length of your edging into this cell. The area has also been automatically worked out. This is 12 square metres. I now need to put in the excavation depth. This is 0.3 linear metres. My sub-base is 0.24 linear metres and the depth of my blinding is 0.04 linear metres. Again, the program has calculated the finished surface depth of my path for me as 0.02 linear metres. By entering these few numbers, my pricing sheet now contains a lot of information. Let's see what's been calculated. My excavation has been worked out. If I click on the question mark, I can see from the picture that 1.2 hours have been allowed per cubic metre. If you wanted to alter this, you can do so here in the picture, and the pricing sheet will adjust to match your selection. My compactor has been allowed. The programme has worked out that I'll need it for a day, and I'll be using it for just under an hour. The hours are in the yellow box to draw your attention to this, as it may require your judgement, and you may want to change it. This is right for me, so I will not be altering it, but you can if you want. The matting for the path has been worked out too. I won't be using matting, so if I just untick the box, it's immediately removed from my costs. My blinding has also been calculated, and I can see the materials and the hours allowed for doing this. The cost for my concrete edgings and the lean mix for these are shown here. If I click on the lean mix question mark, there's a helpful diagram that shows the dimensions that my flaunching cost is based on. If you wanted your flaunching to be based on different measurements, you can easily do this by entering the dimensions you want to use directly into the picture. As I mentioned at the start of this movie, I do have the option to select concrete or timber edgings. I can see by looking at the pricing sheet that at the moment my costs are based on concrete edgings as the concrete edgings for the side of the path and the lean mix for these are ticked, therefore included. If I wanted to do timber edgings, I simply untick the two concrete options and they're instantly removed. Then I tick the timber edgings and the stakes and I can immediately see the cost for these. I will not be using a mixer, so I'll untick this option. The aggregates for my pathway are shown here. I will need 13 bags of the 25 kilogram pea shingle. If you wanted to use a different material, you can change this by using the drop-down menu. And finally, my waste disposal. At the moment it's set as an 8-yard skip, and I'll need one of these. I will leave this as it is, but if you wanted something different, you can select it by using the drop-down menu or by clicking on the question mark. The totals for my loose stone pathway with timber edgings are shown here along the bottom. By entering just five numbers, my pathway is priced, and I was able to adjust some of the smaller details quickly and easily.